Here on the second floor of the Princess Margaret Show house, we have the daughter's bedroom. And we fo the focal point of the room was this bedding. We did this floral bedding, which I love in the grays and blues. And that really grows with a child or a teenager. And we use that color for the walls. We chose a more dramatic deep blue. And the doors, the trim, everything is painted. And we took advantage again of the attic space. I love to take advantage of the attic space and get that real height. Now, an upholstered headboard is always great in a master bedroom. We do them in almost all the bedrooms, either a wood or upholstered, but this added that soft blush pink with this fun little mirror above it. For the night tables, we chose a wood night table, but we painted it this soft gray and kept the hardware on it. So that's great to repurpose furniture. If you have master bedroom furniture and want to put it in a teenager's bedroom or a guest bedroom, think about painting it. At the desk, we use this curved desk that's painted in white and has a little bit of gold leaf on the inside. For the chair, we use the ghost chair and I love this chair it's so practical for kids rooms because they can wear jeans do crafts on it crayons anything like that nothing happens to the chair and then we frame the window with the drapes and put this glass lamp in the window with this tack board for pictures of friends and family I think it's a great space in this daughter's bedroom in the adjoining bathroom we have this long vanity and it floats off the floor so it doesn't look too heavy combination of drawers and doors we made the doors look like drawers so we get that look of a long dresser mirrored the whole wall with light fixtures over it and then did this glass corner shower we did frosted glass tiles they're back painted glass on the wall and this wallpaper is great it has the hot air balloons in the sky I think it's gender neutral and a lot of fun now adjoining this bathroom is the boys bedroom and we chose this really dark dramatic paint color we did an upholstered headboard in this dark gray flannel and the bedding is in gray and white a lot of the white so it pops the drapes are in the gray flannel here and we painted all of it all the way up even the flat part of the ceiling gray so we create this cozy atmosphere in the window here, the same as in the girls' room, we put a desk again with the ghost chair and frame the window with the flannel. We use some upholstered flannel chests for extra storage, and I think this room really has a lot of personality. I just love this space. What we did was we took a bedroom on the second floor and we created this great playroom. Now the focal point of this is the ceiling, and I did this tinted theme because we have all the attic space, why not take advantage of it. So it's all white cotton with red trim and we even painted the light fixture red. The whole theme is red. We've got the red kitchen, the red car, the red cabinet for toy storage, and then the table and chairs. Even the carpet has the white and red. But a great solution for toy storage is to drape the walls and put the bookshelves behind it. This way you have no doors. You just open the drapes, it's all shelves, all the toys are in there, and close the drapes and it's nice and neat.